All right, 652 this morning. Summertime is a great time, of course, to be outside, maybe do some exploring of your own neighborhood. And tonight, the Overland Park City Council will talk about how to make it easier for people to explore, specifically downtown OP. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan is outside City Hall with the details, the price tag. This is all about signage, right, Charlie? Exactly right. The city will discuss tonight a $300,000 proposal that would allow the city to raise some new signposts around town, pointing people to destinations, maybe like City Hall. Of course, the signs, though, wouldn't look like this light stand we're using. We have some renderings of the, kind of the general idea of what these lights, or these lights, excuse me, these signs would look like. You can see these, uh, these on your screen right now. The guide, these actually come from a guidebook that uh, came out Oh, about two years ago to make sure that all cities across the metropolitan area use the same kind of signage so that way visitors going from city to city would be, have some familiarity there. The city of Overland Park wants to really focus on these new signs in its downtown area because it says leaders downtown have been working on some similarly themed projects over the last several years so this just makes sense for that component. All right so the city council meets at 7 30 tonight to discuss this proposal of that $300,000 price tag 200,000 comes from the city and $100,000 would come from a federal grant. Lindsay and Taylor, back to you. Charlie, thank you. When might people notice these signs, if, assuming they get passed? It'll still be a while. 2024 would be the soonest you'd see these signs. The city will work over the next couple of years, should this pass tonight, to kind of find out what to include in the signs, where to place the signs, then construct the signs and install them by 2024. All right, Charlie Keegan, live for us in downtown OP. Charlie, thank you.